All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So this morning we got the full details and animations for the upcoming Golden Week Dual Dokkan Fest, Exchange Super Saiyan Goku slash Super Saiyan Gohan, as well as the transforming cell that goes from first form into, uh, hold on, this is not in the right order, into a uh, second form cell, and then Perfect Cell, and finally he also has a Rage Mode, which is this buff cell right here. And uh, there's also two new side units, which would be the Android 16 and 18, and finally the new Super Saiyan Vegeta. So in this video, we're going to be going over everything that you guys need to know about all of these new units. And uh, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So obviously before we talk about their kits, we have to start with the animations. And uh, what we have right here are the animations for the Goku and Gohan. So let me just pause my music real quick. And here we go. Yo. <laughs> okay. So that was the first time I've seen the animations all the way through. So I didn't even see like most of the Gohan stuff before, right? Um that counter animation is probably the best in the game, man. Like the best counter animation we've ever seen. And it's probably the best part of I mean, okay, so one thing that really surprised me was uh this part right here. Um, it was so smooth, man, that this right here, like, it kind of reminded me of, um, you guys remember the Bukigiri match, uh, game? I'm not sure if it's still, you know, going or anything, but, um, the animations for those cards were super, super smooth, right? And this is, like, very similar to that style, so let me just play that again. <laughs> Dude, that looks incredible. That looks absolutely incredible. And of course, we have the counter, which I'll show you guys one more time before we move on. But I just want to see it again. Okay, so, um, yeah, no, Goku's quite nice. Goku looks good, but Gohan, <laughs> Gohan, his animations are uh, next level, man. Okay, so good start here with the Gohu, Go Gohu, Goku and Gohan. Let's move on to the cell now. Um, here we go. Okay, so once again, we start as imperfect cell, then we become... Second form or semi perfect cell, and then perfect cell, and finally we have the uh, the rage form buff cell. Here we go.
私のパワーがか完全に負けている。Damn, okay, so, um, he looks very good as well. I think that I was, like, not super blown away by most of the actual super attack animations, but I really, really like the in-between, in like, transitional animations between forms, right? Like, um, compared to the, you know, transforming Goku or transforming Vegeta, transforming Frieza, like, those other transforming units we've seen so far, uh... This this looks way way better as you would expect, so I really like that. I like the transition between between forms. Um, in terms of the actual animations, they look good. I think second form cell might have my favorite animation. I th I think he might have my sec my favorite animation, um, of the different forms. I really like buff cell though. I I really like buff cell. So it's kind of a hard call between those two, but. Um, either way, I think Gohan probably has the best animations that we've seen so far, but Cell is very good as well. Okay, so that is the Cell. Now let's move on to... Uh, oh, my bad. Let's move on to the side units. We have the Android 16 and 18 here. Okay, so um, at first I was not that impressed by the 18 and 16. Like I like the the ending to the animation; it looks awesome. But it is a bit of a ripoff of uh, <laughs> the Dokkan Fest 17 and 18 like ending, right? Um, but it's cool. And then I saw Vegeta, and I was like, "Yo, Vegeta actually looks amazing. Vegeta is actually really, really well done. Like that is a Dokkan Fest quality animation, in my opinion. In my opinion." Or at least close, close enough, right? So, uh, Vegeta, A+, plus. Um, Androids, like, uh, I mean, they're still not bad, B+, plus, something like that. So, those are the side unit animations. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything here, because I thought there was another video, but maybe, maybe not. Okay, there you have it. So, those are all the animations. We've spent a good, like, 10 minutes here already, so... Let's move on to the details because this will take us a while. Let me just uh, turn back the music as well. Or turn it back on rather. And here we go. Let's start with the Gohan and Goku. Exchange Super SDR. Warriors entrusted with Earth's fate. Super Saiyan Goku slash Super Saiyan Gohan youth. Okay. So starting with the leader skill. Let me just zoom in a bit here so you guys can maybe see it a little bit. Uh, Super Saiyans or Goku's family, category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%, so not a surprise there. Super Saiyans and Goku's family both make sense, plus an additional attack and defense plus 30, oh sorry, HP attack and defense plus 30% for characters who also belong to the androids slash cell saga category. So um, essentially we're looking at uh, some Vegetas, some Trunkses, some Gokus, and some Gohans from the Android slash Cell Saga category that are going to be getting this 200% uh, buff, which is awesome, right? And then we have his passive. Now, this is for the Goku before the transformation into, or rather the uh, exchange into Gohan, right? For Goku, we have attack and defense plus 180% plus an additional attack and defense plus 59% when performing a super attack. High chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, within the same turn after performing a super attack for 5 turns from start of turn, and then medium chance of evading enemies' attacks. 
including super attacks, within the same turn after performing a super attack starting from the sixth turn. So basically, um, yeah, for the first five turns, you get a 50% chance to dodge after you super, and then that becomes 30% after turn six, plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% up to 59% with each attack you baited, including a super attack. Okay, so, um, good, but a little bit basic, right? You're basically just looking at a big attack and defense boost with a high chance to dodge for five turns, that becomes 30% after six turns, um, and he can get up to, you know, something like 300% attack and defense, but aside from that, he's not really doing too much else. Now, let's move on to the, oh, actually, uh, in terms of the links, we have Golden Warrior, Saiyan Warrior Race, All in the Family, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle. Now, moving on to the uh, active skill, which is an exchange into Gohan, can be activated after performing three or more super attacks in battle once only. Okay, so that is slightly unfortunate because let's say you get unlucky and you only get one super per turn. That means the earliest you will see a Gohan transformation would be... I guess turn 8? No, turn 7. No. Does he do a super on turn 1, and then a super on turn 3, and then a super on turn 6? So by turn 8, you would see the Gohan uh, exchange, right? If I'm doing it correctly. I think that makes sense. Obviously, if you get multiple supers in a turn, then you can get it faster. But, uh,. Yeah, it's never a great thing when the active skill is conditional based on number of super attacks. So, in shorter events, like Super Battle Road, for example, where the stages are not as long, um, it might be hard to get this Gohan exchange. And uh, the effect, of course, is exchanges with another character, which is the Super Saiyan Gohan, uh, and his super attack. This is, once again, still for Goku, super attack. Uh, wait, hold on. Next page. I don't usually do this, like with the uh, Twitter reveal, so it's kind of confusing. That's my bad, guys. Super attack effect. Raises attack. This can be stacked infinitely. Raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy. I like that. So that's going to be great for Super Battle Road, obviously, when you want to stun the enemy as often as possible. Um, so high chance to stun is great. And finally, categories. We're looking at... A bunch of them, uh, Super Saiyans, Goku's Family, Pure Saiyans, Android slash Cell Saga, Kamehameha, Bond of Master and Disciple, um, A Turtle School, Heavenly Events, Bond of Friendship, Accelerated Battle, Entrusted Will, and Full Power. So, there you have it guys, that is the Goku before exchanging into Gohan. Now, moving on to the Gohan here, uh, here is a quick look at his art in all its glory. I think it looks great. Possibly my favorite Gohan art in the game. And leader skill stays the same. Passive though is attack and defense plus 180% plus an additional attack plus 58% within the same turn after receiving an attack. Raises defense by up to 100%. That's on top of the 180%. The more HP remaining, the greater the defense boost. Guards all attacks for three turns from the start of turn plus an additional defense plus 58%, starting from the turn in which guard is activated for the second time in battle, plus an additional attack and defense plus 58%, starting from the turn in which guard is activated for the fourth time in battle, and then guards um, all attacks starting from the turn in which guard is activated for the sixth time in battle. Great chance of nullifying enemies' key blast super attacks and countering with Ferocious Power. Okay, Ferocious is a new term for me. I don't remember seeing that for any other card, so maybe it's like a higher multiplier than Tremendous, uh, which is like what the uh, Vegitos have, right? So it's gonna be interesting to see how hard that counter actually hits, but um, his passive might be a little bit confusing, but to break it down into like simple terms, basically you get three turns of guaranteed guard when you uh, exchange into the Gohan, right? And based on how many times this guy takes hits while that guard is activated, you will get these additional effects. So for taking two hits, 
while this guard is activated, you get the additional 58% defense. For 4 hits while guard is activated, you get additional attack and defense plus 58%. And then if you take 6 hits while guard is activated, then he will get um, guaranteed guard uh, for the rest of the fight, right? And then you got the great chance to nullify enemies, key blast super attacks. So this guy is going to be um, basically insanely, insanely tanky. Uh, because he gets the guaranteed guard to start, and then taking six hits, I don't think it's going to be that hard. If you're doing like a longer, harder event, which you would be to get this Gohan anyways. So uh, he's going to be untouchable, man, in like... Infinite Dragon Ball history, Legendary Goku event, you know, stuff like that. Um, he's going to be a defensive monster, and offensively, I think he's going to hit quite hard. Uh, especially after you get the 58% attack and defense for the fourth um, time being hit with guard activated. And then you get the 58% additional attack for taking an attack. So if he gets hit, and you have this part, right, the additional 58% there, uh, he should be hitting very hard. He should be hitting very, very hard. And then, of course, his defense is going to be on another, another level. So, um, I like this Gohan a lot. I think he's also unique in the way that he works, which I like. You know, I like the way that they can be still kind of um, innovative with, with some of these passives. So, that's cool. And in terms of links, we have Golden Warrior, Saiyan Warrior Race, All in the Family, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle, which are all solid links. And a super attack effect, let's see, uh, raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage. And I believe that is all there is to the Gohan, so um, I like what I see, I like what I see. As you guys know, I'm a very much defensively focused person when it comes to what I prefer for my units, and this guy is super defensive, super defensive, but of course has a great potential to put out a lot of damage. Um, on top of that, so uh, good unit, really, really good unit all around. Let's move on to the cell, and this guy, once again, man, has like a bunch of forms, so this might take a while. Um, this video is already going very long, so I do apologize for that, but I want to be as thorough as possible here. So we're starting here with the first form cell. Leader skill is Android slash Cell Saga or Power Absorption. Category key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 170% plus an additional HP attack and defense plus 30% for characters who also belong to the androids category. So that covers basically most of the androids, which is awesome. And then we have his passive, which is attack and defense plus 170% plus an additional attack and defense plus 30% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack and defense plus 80% and chance of performing a critical hit. Um, and chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, plus 18% when facing two or more enemies, plus an additional attack and defense, plus 70%, and chance of performing a critical hit, and chance of evading enemies' attacks, plus 17% when facing three or more enemies, a medium chance of an additional super attack when HP is 50% or more, absorbs Android 17 when conditions are met. Alright, so. Uh, clearly, this guy is meant for Super Battle Road. Um, when facing only one enemy here, he is still getting a good buff. I mean, 170% and then the additional 30% attack and defense is still good. But he gets way more, man. He gets like a ton more attack and defense and the critical hit, uh, critical hit chance and the chance to evade and stuff like that when you're facing two and then three enemies. Um, so on Super Battle Road, this guy is going to be... A monster on single target still gonna be fine but not nearly as good right and uh, his categories let's actually start with his links his links are flea which sucks uh, messenger from the future big bad bosses shocking speed nightmare wall standing tall and fierce battle and categories are android slash cell saga power absorption androids transformation boost time travelers artificial life forms target goku sworn enemies accelerated battle worldwide chaos and exploding rage Okay, so, a super attack, raises attack, and raises defense for one turn, and causes immense damage, and he will absorb Android 17 and become semi-perfect cell, 
starting from the third turn from start of battle. This is something that happens automatically. It's not like something you can manually do, right? So once you become a second form cell, here is a good look at the art. I really like it. Second form cell might be my favorite of uh, all the forms with this card. So once you become a second form cell, obviously same leader skill, passive though, is attack and defense plus 180%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 40% when performing a super attack, chance of performing a critical hit, and chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, plus 17%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 120%, and chance of performing a critical hit plus, uh, sorry, and I got confused, wait. Plus an additional attack and defense, plus 120% and chance of performing a critical hit and chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, plus 18% when facing two or more enemies. Medium chance of launching an additional super attack when HP is 50% or more. Absorbs Android 18 when conditions are met. So very similar to the um, you know first form cell, except for the fact that uh, you're getting a bigger buff a bigger boost for facing two or more enemies and there's no condition for like three or more enemies right and aside from that you have the medium chance of additional super attack which I believe the forced first form cell oh no he did have that that's my bad <laughs> there's too many forms man there's too many forms okay so he still has the medium chance of additional super attack it's just that um, you get the you know big buff when facing two enemies as opposed to three enemies, right? Okay, so that's the second form cell. Now his super attack is raises attack, raises defense for one turn, and causes immense damage just like first form cell. And uh, you can absorb Android 18 and become perfect cell upon entering the next attacking turn. Hopefully this is not too confusing, um, but I'm also like confusing myself a little bit, so I'm sure it's at least a little bit confusing <laughs> for you guys as well. So from second form cell into perfect cell, uh, which happens literally the next turn that the cell appears on rotation. Here is a look at the art. Very nice as well, but I do prefer the second form, I think, in terms of the art here. And for perfect cell, his passive is attack and defense plus 250%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when performing a super attack, chance of performing a critical hit, and chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, plus 35%, plus an additional attack and defense, plus 50% when facing only one enemy. High chance of launching an additional super attack when HP is 50% or more. All right, so as, as you can see, this guy actually receives his um, additional buff now when facing only one enemy, but of course, even if you're facing even if you're facing multiple enemies, you're still getting a significant boost uh, regardless. And then you have the additional super attack. Um, I guess the cell works better against like Super Battle Road, for example, against multiple enemies for the first, first two forms. And then in the third form, he's better as a single target attacker, obviously. Um, kind of an interesting setup here. I'm not sure if I love it. I'm not sure if I if, if I love it, but I guess in theory on Super Battle Road, by the time you can get the you know perfect cell transformation, there should usually only be like one, maybe two enemies remaining. So probably in like a lot of situations in Super Battle Road, you'll still be getting his full buff at this point, maybe in theory at least, right? So uh, that is the perfect cell, and then we have his super attack which is, uh, oh no, this is the active skill. So the active skill is a rage mode, which can be activated when HP is 50% or less and facing only one enemy. And he'll rage and become the buff cell. Super attack is raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage. This is for the perfect cell. And now we have the buff cell right here. And uh, actually, I think I like this art the best. Yeah, I probably like this art the best. The, the second form cell is a close second. Okay, so for the rage mode, it's pretty standard. Um, you're invincible for the time that it lasts. The passive is key plus two and performs a guaranteed critical hit. 
and the super attack raises the attack temporarily and causes immense damage to enemy. And I believe this only lasts for one turn, maybe two, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Okay, so that was the perfect cell, the perfect cell. Um, I, I like what I see, uh, I'm not sure if I love it. I'm not sure if I love it right now, if I would say like, which one I think is gonna be better. Mmm, it's tough man, probably the Gohan, but then the Gohan takes a while to like actually see as well, so if we're comparing like the Goku to the Cell, then I'd probably take the Cell, but between Gohan and Perfect Cell, I'd probably lean towards Gohan, because his passive is not conditional on like, you know, one enemy, to like get the full passive, right, it's not based on how many enemies you're facing. I kind of like that more, but they're both good. <laughs> they're both very good. So lastly, before we go, because this video is getting way too long, let's talk about the Android 16 and 18. So leader skill is Android's category key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 130%, passive attack plus 160%, and defense plus 180%. Raises attack and defense by up to 100%. The more HP remaining, the greater the stats boost, medium chance, of attacks being effective against all types when there is a super class ally attacking in the same turn. Medium chance of guarding all attacks when there is another extreme class ally attacking in the same turn. All allies attack plus 34% and defense plus 16% when there is a super class enemy and all allies attack plus 100 and, uh, sorry, uh, attack plus 18% and defense plus 34% when there is an extreme class enemy. Okay, so, a pretty interesting passive right here. Uh, a lot of RNG, for sure. Um, even like their attack and defense boost is based on HP remaining, and then you get a medium chance, 30% chance of effective against all when you have a super class ally in the same turn, and then a 30% chance to guard all attacks when there is an extreme class ally attacking the same turn. I don't know if I like that, because 30% is not super high. It's not super high, but I guess it's it, it's something. And then their support's also based on what kind of enemy you're facing. So it's good that you're getting support regardless. But if you're facing super class, then it's more attack focused. If you're facing extreme class, then it's more defensively focused. Or if there's a mix of extreme and super, does that does that ever happen? I'm not sure actually. <laughs> Do we ever face extreme and super at the same time? Uh. Maybe not, but regardless, regardless, um, pretty good, pretty good, but I just wish the, there was no RNG here with like the medium chance, or at least make it a high chance, or a great chance, I think great chance would make more sense, <laughs> you know, and I don't think that would have been too broken, but, alright, so, um, they're nice, they're nice, but could have been better, in my opinion. Now, let's move on to their super attack effect, which is greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage. And then uh, their links, let me quickly go over their links. Android Assault, Solid Support, Shocking Speed, Cold Judgment, Tough as Nails, Soul vs. Soul, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Android slash Cell Saga, Androids, Joint Forces, and Target Goku. Last but not least, we have the new Super Saiyan Vegeta with his dope, dope animations. Uh, leader skill is Mastered Evolution, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, uh, passive attack and defense plus 100%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% when attacking, plus an additional key plus 3, and launches an additional attack with 3 or more key spheres obtained, launches an additional attack for 4 turns from start of turn, plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% starting from the turn in which the character performs the 5th attack in battle, and attacks effective against all types starting from the turn in which the character performs the 10th attack in battle. Okay, so as you can see, he gets a lot of additional attacks. He gets the um, guaranteed additional attack for four turns, right? And then he gets an additional attack for three or more key spheres. And of course, he can also get additional attack from his hidden potential system if you have. Uh, Actually, he has a free level 5 additional, so you can get it basically at 55%. 
and if you launch like three attacks or four attacks per turn then getting 10 attacks is actually not going to be that bad and getting 10 attacks allows you to get attacks effective against all types for the rest of the fight um so pretty interesting pretty interesting concept right here uh yeah once you perform five attacks which would be like on average the third appearance i guess then he's getting 300 percent attack and defense and they have the additional attacks and they have attacks effective against all types so he's really solid a very very solid side unit and i love his animations man i, I really do i think he has borderline like dokkan fest unit animation quality and links are Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Prodigy, Saiyan Pride, Golden Warrior, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle. Categories are Master Evolution, Pure Saiyans, Vegeta's Family, Super Saiyans, Worthy Rivals, Android slash Cell Saga, and Gifted Warriors. And uh, his super attack effect is raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage to the enemy. And there you have it guys, we're back to the beginning. That took a while. But we did get through it. Um, there were just too many forms for me to like condense it into a regular length video. So once again, my bad. But hopefully it was worth it. And uh, let me know in the comments down below, man, what you think about all of these units. I think the Gohan's probably the best. But it's hard for me to say until I actually see, um, you know, all these units in, in action. But uh, I really like the Gohan. I like the the cell as well. I'm just a little bit hesitant about his, you know, conditions for, you know, X number of enemies based. Obviously, it's not really much of an issue when you get to perfect cell if you're doing like a single target event. But if you get to perfect cell and there's multiple enemies, then he's not getting his full passive. But his passive will still be plenty good. Um, I just don't love it. I don't love it when when there's like a X number of enemies condition in, in passives or active skills or anything like that so um i would slightly side with gohan right now we'll see how things work out once we actually get them you know in the game and uh, between these two i think i would have to side with the vegeta as the better side unit but i do like the support as well from the androids it's just i don't like the medium chance man the medium chance kind of i don't know doesn't sit right with me. Anyways, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I've got to end the video at some point, so I think this is a good time to do it. Uh, I'm going to leave you off with the animations for the Gohan and Goku. And I'm going to remind you that, uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, yeah, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.